Since more than a century ago, Wrightsville Beach has been a popular tourist attraction. Up until 1899, it was known as the Banks before being renamed Wrightsville Beach in honor of the Wright family of Wilmington. Previously, a trolley connected the beach, but today locals and visitors can access the stunning island via a drawbridge. Visit the Wrightsville Beach History Museum while on vacation if you are curious to learn more about Wrightsville Beach past. It's located just off W. Salisbury Street. Five miles of broad sandy beaches, gorgeous clear water and breathtaking views of the island surround the hamlet of Wrightsville Beach. The beach, which is in southeast North Carolina, is the ideal place for a family vacation. Wrightsville offers a wide range of activities and attractions for everyone, including fishing, paddleboarding, surfing, and simply lounging on the beach. Before World War I, Wrightsville Beach was a summer getaway only reachable by steam train and boat. Restaurants, stores, marinas, and resorts are all present and thriving in this small island community today. The closest beach to North Carolina is Wrightsville Beach, which is reached via Interstate 40. Arriving here is simple and staying is even simpler. In North Carolina, the beach is recognized as the home of surfing with a state highway historical marker. Burke Haywood Bridgers and other individuals arranged the first surfing event in Wrightsville in 1909, which is commemorated by the Pioneer East Coast Surfing Sign. A Waterman's Hall of Fame honoring the accomplishments of the generations of local watermen and women who have formed the community and its relationship with the water is part of the Wrightsville Beach Museum of History. This beach was created as a spot for people to fish, sail, swim, surf and enjoy activities on the water with the beauty and the lure of the ocean and its marshes. Several top-notch fishing competitions, including the Cape Fear Blue Marlin Tournament, is being held in Wrightsville Beach for almost 50 years. While you're enjoying these Epsom drone shots, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. We are posting videos like this twice a week and we would hate for you to miss it. A traditional shopping staple since 1969, Wrightsville Beach has been served by a Reddix department store. Numerous celebrities have stopped by the coastal shopping heaven while filming on location nearby. Four historic cottages from 1909 can be entered by tourists to Wrightsville Beach Historic Square. In order to preserve the architectural heritage of the island and provide visitors with a taste of beach life in the 1900s, the cottages were moved from their original places and placed in the historic square. The Wrightsville Beach Museum of History, the Fred and Alice Stenbach Coastal Education Center and the Wrightsville Beach Visitor Center are just a few of the non-profit organizations that call each villa home. The biggest undeveloped barrier island along the southern North Carolina coast Masombra Island is an estuary sanctuary for numerous endangered species. The 8.4 mile long island is located just below Wrightsville Beach and is reachable for groups by boat. 
marsh and tidal flats cover 87% of the island. There are just a few spots in the world where you may locate massive prehistoric megalodon teeth in such high concentrations, and Wrightsville Beach is one of them. Megalodon tooth ledges, which were once riverbeds but are now covered by the water, are where diving charters go. More than 100 feet are submerged in advanced dives. Shark teeth from the Paleozoic era can be valued measuring up to 6 inches long and costing thousands of dollars. 